Today we want to talk about Power Factory and the first lecture on the Power Factory tutorial. So this is the window of the Power Factory and here you can see we have one toolbar, some drawing tools and one blank space that we cannot do anything right now. So for initiating the project, first click on File, New Project. So here we have we have to define the project. So here we have the project name. You can write, for example, this two. Click OK, and here we have the name and the specification for our power system, our power grid. So this is the name of the grid, and here is nominal frequency. So if you work, for example, in the frequency of the six years, you can change it to six years. But now it's fifty. Then click OK. And here you will have the blank space for making your model. In the left side, we have the drawing tools. In these drawing tools, we have a lot of components that we can put in this blank space. So from top, we have bus bars, switches, lines, transformers, generators, loads, sources, and etc. In this toolbar, we have some options for uh, changing a specification of this blank space. For example, if you click on this one, you can change the size for here. So for example, now it's A4, I can change it to A3, and you can see it's larger. In this toolbar, we have some analysis tools, and here we have some options. Later, we'll back and talk about them. So initially, we want to design and make a model for a grid including two bus bars and one load. So initially for initiating any models, you should start with bus bars. So here we have single bus bar. If you click on that, click anywhere you want, then you install it, that bus bar. I can zoom. If you click another one, you can install here. And also if you click, you can move anywhere you wish. So we need a source for power generation. The source of power generation is here, is grid. If you click on that and then click on the bus bar, you have to choose the branch that you want to install. Here is second breakers and here is the branches. I click on this one, then it should be like that. But I want to move it on the other side. For doing that, right click, graphic object, click add node then it's going other side. We also need some line, one line, click here on this bus bar and this bus bar. Now the line is here. Then we need a load. Load can be here, can be synchronous machine or motor, general, uh, general load, LV load, MV load. So we use this, this general load. Just click on that. Click on busbar, click on the branch, and click escape on your keyboard, then it's go. Now we have the model, but we didn't put any specification for this model. External grid is something uh, universal, so you don't need to change anything for that. Here we have busbar, we should change the voltage. If you double click on that, here we have voltage level. Line to line, for example, we want to change it to 10. If you change this line to line voltage anything, the line to ground is just automatically calculated. Click OK. Here's the same, same voltage. And here we have line. So for line, you should specify the type. So for bus bar and load is not necessary, but for line, synchronous machines, transformers, it's mandatory to uh, select a type. Click on this. Here we have the select type, and here we have new project type. If we click on select type, line type here, you have a lot of line models from the Power Factory library. If I click, for example, on this one, click OK, it's allocated here. If we click on the second arrow, you can see this specification. So it is from some real cables. 
But if you want to define the line based on your specification, new project and line type, and here we had 10 kilovolt, just put it 10, and 0 0.1, 0 0.1 for resistant reactants, and click OK. Then here we have a parallel line, length of line, and damping factor and other specification. Later we'll back and discuss about them. Here, for example, we can increase the length of line to, for example, two kilometers. And here we have this automatic calculation for a specification of this line. If we click OK, the next component is this general load. It's not necessary to allocate any types but we should allocate amount of the active and reactive power consumption. If you click on the load flow, in the active power, we can put, for example, this, and this, for example, 0.1 megawatts and megabar, and click OK. Now we have a model. We want to apply load flow on this model, on our model. For doing that, in top, we have calculate load flow, or control plus F10. If you click on that, here we have some calculation methods, active power regulations, voltage reactive power regulation, and more options. For example, here in calculation setting, we have the Newton Raphson or some iteration values. We, we don't change them. So click on execute. When you execute the load flow here, you will see the result for the load flow. If you zoom, you can see that here we have 0.1 megawatt, 0.1 megawatt that is sending to load because this is value of the load and the current is automatically calculated as an 8 ampere and here also the value for voltage in per unit and the absolute value. So later in the next videos we will back for more, uh, more analysis and more advanced modelings.